Hi guys. Um, I did a video about um, the archaeolo or Peabody Cole taking um, sacred objects from the Diné or the Hopi, but maybe you don't know why they're doing this. Um, Peabody Cole and the Supreme Court upheld this, and this is this is all sponsored by John McCain, his genocide of the Navajo or the Diné people and the Hopi people. Um, and there, there's a, um, well, they put them on a Superfund nuclear waste dump. They relocated them there. So they die. That's genocide. Um, and this has been going on since 1974 until now. They're still trying things. Um, if a person's hoe gets knocked down by some blasting that Peabody uh, Cole's doing, they, the, the people don't have a, right to even rebuild their homes in some cases on the Navajo Nation. This is not everywhere. Um, but there are a lot of places that they are relocating. Um, and this is a forcible relocation. It's been going on now for many, many years. Um, so when you people talk about FEMA camps, I think maybe you should, I always say, look what happens to the Indians first, and then you'll see what's going to happen to you. Now, I'm going to uh, show you uh, what they've done, and there's also, I think, a documentary done on it. Now, I could have went through the long articles and the Supreme Court rulings, but I'll just um, go to the smaller website, and I'll leave the rest if you want as links. And please leave your comments below. Tell me, you think this fair? Should they just kick these people off their land? I mean, let me get on this good. Hold on. Um, right here, just before I get into this, Article 10, <clears throat> and this, this is Article 10, Ind indigenous people shall be, for shall not be forcibly removed from their lands or territories. No relocation shall take place without the free and informed consent of the indigenous peoples concerned at, and after agreement on just and fair compensation where possible with the option of return. Now, this is Article 10 in, in our Bill of Rights or the, the their amendments to everything. But anyway, after they put everybody on reservations, they had to form treaties, and this is in all treaties right there. Article 10 of the Constitution can't do this no more. Now, I'm going to this website because it's it's a harder one for me to read. However, it is a, um, let's see, it, it, it kind of covers everything really fast. Um, Native Americans, Navajo Indians targeted for brutal genocide in Arizona, USA by Senator John McCain, the BIA, and a few greedy politicians. To facilitate his legal, his, or excuse me, his special interest, namely Peabody Western Coal Company, the largest coal group in the U.S., and the Mojave Generating Facility in Laughlin, operated by Bechtel, de delivering low-cost coal-produced electricity to the Las Vegas can casinos in exchange for beer distribution contracts afforded his wife's business, Hemsley, Inc. John McCain personally, over the course of 25 years in the state legislature and, and federal senate, introduced and arranged for the enforcement of unethical and unconstitutional unlawful legislation that would brutally displace thousands of Navajo families onto a nuclear waste dump, Church's Rock, New Mexico, to live after brutalizing them for two decades. And it's a super fun nuclear um, uh, dumping site. And I, I will show you this. Uh, I'll leave a link to that, too. Now, for two decades, they have fought a peaceful resistance. McKay assembled support to modify existing laws and produce new ones. Navajo Resettlement and Navajo Accommodation Agreement, Navajo Settlement and Amendments. Um, and these were all illegal, unethical enactments designed to force Native American Navajo and Diné bands off the Arizona lands, moving them onto Church Hills in New Mexico, depriving them of lands they own since the 1500s. As a result, thousands of Aboriginal elders passed away from shock associated with, associated with the displacement into urban apartment settings and onto uranium-contained waste sites. Using a phony Hopi tribal council composed of paid stooges, 
I call them corporate engines, and rangers comprised largely of the BIA police, McCain and Peabody Western, <clears throat> engaging in thuggery, forcing those peaceful people to leave or else. They even bulldozed their sacred sites and sweat lodges, beating their members physically and abusing the elders to the point of terrorizing them, causing health failure, heart failure, and worse. Fake Hopi Rangers, BIA, the Bureau of Indian Affairs Police, organized by McCain, allies arrest and beat any peaceful resistors on their lands while celebrating holy days at their sacred sites. Three presidential runs by McCain have been backed by the Mining Power Company and its Nevada Casino clients through street names organized in Nevada. McCain's wife has been granted huge beer distribution contracts at her liquor company, Hemsley, by Nevada Gaming Interests. Two-Face pol Political Favor Banking has robbed the Dene of any political support. The supposed new lands at Churchill's are a super fun nuclear waste dump landfill site where children in school schoolyards play openly among dumped uranium tailings. Children born in these communities have twice the national average of birth defects. And, and there'll be some links here. Um, Vanishing Prayer is, is a... Um, I think that you should watch this. It, there's part one and part two. Um... To quote the United Nations, <clears throat> the Black Mesa region in Arizona, USA, is home to the indigenous communities of the Diné and the Hopi peoples. This region also contains major deposits of coal, which are being extracted by North America's largest strip mining operations. The coal mines have had a major impact on families in the region. Local water sources have been poisoned, resulting in the death of livestock. Home near the mines suffer blasting damage. The coal dust is pervasive, as well as smoke from frequent fires in the stockpiles. <clears throat> Not coincidentally, the people in the area have unusually high incidence of kidney and respiratory disease. The Diné, otherwise known as the Nazajo, were stripped of all land title and forced to relocate. Their land was turned over to the coal companies without making any provisions to protect the burial or sacred sites that would be destroyed by the mines. People whose lives were based in their deep spiritual and life-giving relationship with the land were relocated into cities, often without compensation. Forbidden to return to their land, their families had occupied for generations. People became homeless. Significant increases in alcoholism, suicide, family breakup, and emotional abuse and death ensued. Marsha, I, I can't say her name, for the UN Commission on Human Rights and women's, on the women enacting change at the UN, the Navajo resettlement has led to the deaths of thousands of elders and mass radiation-based deformities among newborn Navajo children and the youngsters who are forced to play on the land littered with uranium tailings. The accompanying thuggery and theft of the property, fencing out of rangelands, cattle seizures, water well cappings, and beatings and other indignity has led to death of thousands of elder grandmothers and mothers of the Navajo Diné Nation. A birth defect rate twice the national average has led to a UN and EU condemnation. Navajos are full U.S. citizens. The environmental devastation around the mines through brutal strip mining operations, open explosive ruins, and the Grim Reaper. Steam shovels have transformed the magnificent territory of the Diné into a hell-like scar on Earth. The water level in the region is reduced by four feet per year <clears throat> as, as the not-lawful steam slurry pipes pipe powered coal and steam hundreds of miles to the Mojave just to fire up the Strip in Las Vegas and Reno, where energy wastefulness abounds, leaving leakage and residue in the environment, poisoning the lands of the people in their vicinity. Coal dust blasted from the mines as well. A video, Vanishing Prayer, provides a more vivid view of the plight of the Diné Navajo. Click on the above link to watch it. Senator McCain, though, has brutally pursued continuous victimization of the Navajo for decades. And you can read a 2006 article. And uh, he, he really has, man. He is genocide. Mr. Genocide, I, I don't know, 
I know he was a POW, and I've heard that other POWs said he got special treatment. I don't know if that's true or not, but I know he doesn't even like the veterans. He, he has no use for them either. So when he got out, he decided to kill, 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 and let's start with indigenous. The United Nations Declaration on, on the Rights of Indigenous signed into the UN Human Rights Policy and agreed by the United States, but being intentionally violated by legal deception, fraud, trickery conceived by Senator John McCain and his cronies defines the the basis upon which 200 organizations at the UN simultaneously issued a written condemnation of the mistreatment of the Dene Navajo. Um, but it didn't matter. L let me tell you, um, you need to read the rest of this article because um, it, it doesn't matter. They're still doing it, and there's nothing no one can really do about it. Um, but I would suggest you watch this up here. It is very good. Vanishing Prayer. It's a video about the 43-year-long peaceful resistance by the Diné and Senator McCain's scur scurrilous behavior and personal campaign against their human rights and religious freedom, seeking coal. So, and this is, you're paying for it. It's a price tag of $600 million to the U.S. taxpayer while him and his wife line their pockets full of gold. Anyway, I just wanted to put this out there um, <clears throat> because I know that people are protesting over this African-American uh, kid. I don't know how old he was. Um, I even forget his name sometimes. Trayvon, and he was killed by a Hispanic guy, um, and they're up in arms over that while thousands of original American peoples are being killed and put on nuclear, super fun nuclear waste dumps. I find a problem with people's, um, where their their hearts are, their empathy is. I mean, um, this isn't even a race thing. This is about the corporations taking over wherever they want. And as far as that thing was tragic there, but this is more tragic. You know, who knows, one of these children that could have been born that probably died from being nu nuclear poison could have changed the world, you know. I don't know. I didn't see that. What little I saw of that Trayvon kid, he didn't seem to be that type that could change the world, but maybe he would have changed his ways. I don't know. But I know that, that most of the indigenous people here in America are very peaceful and peace-loving people. So I just thought I'd bring this to your um, attention, and I'll leave a few more links. I love you, every one of you, and we need to unite. And peace, love, and truth, Linda.